a Scorpio. How's this month been treating you? Venus is in your sign. We just got out of your season. Things that you might want to say. Things that you're seeing. How interesting. I have to sneeze. Hold on. So, what's in your control? What's out of your control? Where do you need to be more disciplined? You're feeling powerful though. And what keeps you feeling more powerful is knowing that things are working out. You have to keep your head up. You, there are things that you want for your future. Maybe in this moment, it's becoming really clear that there is an offering of love or you wanna offer love. Like we talked about last month, being really like honest with yourself about that and knowing that you can have it. The King of Swords makes me feel like there's, there may be some things you need to say. And maybe that's to the universe. Maybe that's to someone. Maybe there's someone offering to you and you're just not seeing them because you want to be maybe in control. The power that you have is knowing that things shape, that things take form. How you respond takes form. Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles. You want to give love. You want to give. And yet there's something holding you back. Or you're feeling held back. The only way someone's going to know how you feel is if you tell them. Just on the bottom of the deck. I know it can feel hard. I know that sometimes it could even feel unsafe. Though you're in this beautiful place right now where as long as you're looking up, as long as you see what's being offered to you, accepting that, giving that, will only bring so much more. And the power comes from how you decide to use Your choices. How you decide to respond to your choices are what's being given to you. The Fool, Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. You get a chance to really take the risk understanding that things will move fast with this person, with a person. 
or with and and, and or with opportunities, career opportunities. This is about you being able to be free within yourself by saying what's on your mind, what's on your heart. You understand that what also what holds you back is what also sets you free. Or at least Sagittarius season is really showing you that. What holds you back, what holds you back is also what sets you free. So if there's something you need to say, then say it. It could be someone from the past coming back and knowing that there's so much love there, there's so much opportunity to have what you really want with this person. And you need to have that courage to go for it. The courage to understand that things move quicker because you're prepared. That when you say what's on your mind or what's on your heart or both, it's because you are finally capable of holding that, of feeling that, of taking responsibility for that. Your magnetism requires you to be honest about how you feel. And with Venus in your sign, there's a lot more emphasis on that. So if there is something holding you back, if there is, if it's you wanting to be more in control, the only way that you can break through that is to offer that love. To move away from things that are trying to hold you down. To get a fresher perspective of it. There's also this fire that you feel. That once you realize this, that which holds you back, and that you want to say it, and you feel it, and you want to move with it, just, I have just like a piece of hair, yeah, just hair tickling me. Um, it's by knowing that this energy that's that you're wielding with this is going to propel things though remember how you're saying it and why you're saying it and know that this vulnerability that you're feeling this newness that you're feeling in this way it might have been a long time since you felt this way well it seems like this person is really receptive to how you're saying it because it might come out fiery. It might come out with a lot of passion. That's okay. That's always okay with you. And you feel good about it, bottom of the deck. You're feeling really good and capable and powerful. And it's not letting the past coming back to hurt you. It's or haunt you. It's about accepting what's being off what the new is being offered with it. And if this is a new person, then just be sure. Give yourself a few moments to be sure and then say how you feel. Say how it is. The combination of Sag and Scorpio, how you feel and like it is. Boom. It's scary. It can be scary. It can feel risky. 
but that's what's creating. So when you're able to clearly recognize what it is that you feel and the, how that correlates with how you respond to life and what it's offering you and what you're also creating with it, there's a realization of no longer being able to be kind of played. This is very clear and concise. This is very honest. If you're unsure or feeling doubtful of something, sit back and feel that power and feel the clarity through it first. And then being really clear with how you feel and what you want to say will only make whatever felt doubtful or whatever it, it seems doubt that you're feeling doubtful about or that you're second guessing, you don't know until you make that next move. So a lot of love, opportunity, and no longer being held back because your feelings are what's risky for you because you feel so strongly. And if you haven't felt this strongly in a while, well, maybe that's your indication. Maybe there's a reason why you're feeling so strongly about this, about what you want for your future and what you're willing to do about it. And it seems like it's pretty, it's being received rather well. <laughs> the risk is knowing, bottom of the deck, that you can have this and you can you don't have to be stuck. Then the light is shown. You see what needs to be cleared. What's taken a while to clear. And what is worth moving on. using the fresh opportunity to be very clear about what you've been working for and how you act on it now. There's a lot to gain I feel for you guys. <laughs> I really do, I feel it. There's a lot to gain. The risk is about being honest with yourself, feeling the power that you feel and using the clarity that you're gaining this month about how you feel and what you want and also how that's going to develop down the road for you and the key is what's holding you back that's what's going to set you free Sometimes those are what those are our antidotes. The exact thing that's holding you back is could be the answer. The exact opposite of how you're feeling could be the answer. You might feel stuck and unsure and wanting to control certain things because the risk that it takes to 
to do the risk that it takes to move on from that and move from that is knowing that there's something better for you. That there's something wanting your attention. And it's worth your attention. And it's been a long time coming. And you want to just kind of set yourself free. You know? Feel that rush. But again, the rush is more about the emotion, the breakthrough. It's not about being like rushing towards something or like getting a taste of something, a rush of something and then becoming like addicted to that. It's about harnessing instead of possessing. It's about setting free things so that they don't control you by not saying them, by not doing them. And this month gives you all of that. This month gives you this whole this whole new life. Fuego, that's a fire. And if this connection, by setting yourself free, doing this and using this connection, there's um, there's a lot of power. There's a lot of power. Yeah. So this month is. What's the word? It's powerful for you. It's just how are you, when you're ready to say something, say it. By the time things Saturn and Jupiter move into Aquarius, I think it would be a good time to know. Um, though, if you're ready to do it sooner, do it. Just remember that rush. You might just feel that because it's been a while since you've, again, felt this. Okay, Scorpio? So if you want to work with me further, there is information below. Um, more coming soon. And have a great month. I love you guys. Hi, Scorpio. As you can see, very powerful reading. There's, you're feeling powerful, yet at the same time, you seem to be missing the point. That the Ace of Cups and that Four of Cups, that cloud, which I learned are the same, basically, all depends on how you're deciding to look at life right now. There are things that you can control and things that you can't control. And right now, what you the necessary the thing that you can control is how you use the power that you feel. And looking up, looking at this new way of life possibly this new perspective this new feeling and putting more energy into that than the energy that you have for a while now 
and that is to choose love. Not only love for yourself, though, love for a person and to express that love. You may have felt cold for a while as well and felt like maybe scared to express how it is that you feel. Though on the other side of that is a lot of great things that want to meet you. And I stand by what I said in the, be the first part of whatever is holding you back from expressing that is exactly what sets you free. Holding on to whatever it is that you keep focusing on is only going to leave you tired. It's time to take a risk in terms of your heart. And this person may want to move quickly with you. They seem more than receptive to your feelings. If there is an air sign in your life that wants to come into your life, let them. They might be the ones offering you that cup, but you just need to look up. If there's a fire sign in your life, Leo, Aries, or if it's the fiery nature of this season, expressing how you feel is only gonna make things start to change in a way that is helpful for you. There's a lot of strength and reward. In terms of business, there might be people who wanna work with you. And there may be people or certain aspects that you need to come up, cut out of your life. Maybe things that you worked really hard at. They, that's just not healthy or helpful for you anymore. One of my favorite things to ask myself is, is it helpful or harmful? Especially when you want to make a rash decision or do something out of anger, spite, jealousy. This is the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles is saying if you're willing to cut the shit with what isn't worth your energy and what you've worked so hard for worked so hard to do that's just not adding up and to really go after this new freshness that's coming in. So it all depends on if you're willing to give yourself what it is that you're holding on to. Give yourself the love that you really want by accepting it, by speaking it. Give yourself the opportunity or maybe even talking to a wise older woman in your life. Someone that sees you for who you really are and knows 
how quickly you can change things and how powerful that is. That this freshness, this ability to clear the path and also receive and be given abundance. Now all comes back to how you decide to feel about yourself and what's and who might be offering you love. It feels like romantic love. It's a perfect time to do so. You might want to wait until you're very clear and you've cleared up some things, meaning made some time, made some space. Taking a risk and being loved for it. It's about the antidote. Set yourself free. It's okay. I love you. Information to work with me further below. Happy holidays and I'll see you next month. Bye Scorpio.